we got Davis here. We're getting these bees graded and we're gonna get them over on the clean pallets. So Davis, walk me through this. Let's go ahead and do one. Tell me kind of what you're looking at. So we wanna always tip from the bottom. And then, you know, this is a reverse top story as I call it, or story and a half. So you don't have that many bees on the bottom. See, so you got about three frames down there. I mean, that's a medium box there, it's right? A medium so. box on the bottom. So you gotta realize they're probably in this top box. Oh yeah. Yep. So what are we looking for? How many? We're looking for about eight frames. And we're looking today at about, we're like in the low to mid thirties. So it's cold out it's here. It's cold. So when we look so at they're a cluster, clustered up, yeah. you want to give them credit for that, for a cluster. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a go. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a go. I don't even need to look at it very long. I can tell by the weight. That's yeah. A go. That, oh my gosh. That's Woo. a go. That one's. <laughs> I want to break some smoke out here, Bruce, in a second. All right. I'm going to go grab your smoker. Let's get those three calmed down. Yeah. And look, I can just tell you, just from what's coming out right there, it's ready to that go. That one's probably a go too. Well, I think that whole pallet. This I whole pallet is good right here. Go, yeah. Most of the ones with four on them should be about ready to go. I kind of tried to grade them, and they were those were pretty much strong enough when I went through them over a month ago. So, yeah, I think that I'm sure that one's good, man. I'm gonna tip it real quick. Okay. Let them calm down a second. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's all the way across, dude. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh. So, probably <laughs> need to use some smoke. Yeah. So, I'm just going to gently puff these. Just a gentle puff. Don't want to run them up. We want to get accurate reading. These were a little weaker, I think. So, let's see. Uh. Bruce, I would say that's still a go. Yeah. You know, they got to understand they're clustered. Let's pop okay. the lid real quick. Here, listen, if you're going on the truck with yours, man. If you, if you approve them, I'm good with it. There's not much going on up there, is there? Not a lot going on up there. I bet still, so, like, so they're clustered. Yeah. Let's mark that questionable. All right. That's nothing in the bottom. That nothing one's got in, the bottom. in the bottom, though. Yeah, so we always want to talk. To check the top on these. I would say that one's not going to go. Okay. So let's remember they're about four frames across. Yeah. So. so you know you got good honey stores. We'll mark that one questionable. Okay. You can break those sticks if you want to. Too if you. Need. All right. I can feel by the weight that's a good one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of these over there. One. You gotta understand this is it's 30 about 33 yeah, right we got now bees. we can see bees on five all yeah. the way across five frames so when they spread out it'll easily be eight frames because right now they're clustered on brood yeah and you got a good decent cluster in the top there so 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 a good decent cluster in the top i would, I would say that one so goes. yeah if you figure two boxes even if they're on four frames and two boxes that's going to give you about an eight frame average especially right. clustered up like that so Dave, davis what are we looking for as far as that's oh, yeah. Go. As far as like mm -hmm. our particular contract, what are we looking for as far as the bees? About uh, five frames of brood. And by brood, you mean any brood on there, any active brood? Any active brood. Uh, ooh, those are mean. <laughs> any active brood, even if it's like a fist sized patch of brood. Yeah. You know, they want five frames of active growing brood. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll grade these and then we'll start moving them over. All right. That one had some spice to it. Yeah. All right, Davis is finishing up grading over there. We have the pallets laid out here on plastic. The idea is we want to put uh, the bees all on nice clean pallets or new pallets on the trip out there. You want to do that uh, so they'll be more likely to pass inspections as they cross into the state. Uh, look at these right here, Davis. What do you think of that one? That's a uh, that's what that's we a want. Really strong one, isn't it? That's what we want. All right, man. We got a few of those out here. So we started moving them over. Look at that right there, they're looking good. Here's our little cart right here. You may have seen this before with past videos, but Davis is moving them over. Davis, that cart's a Yeah, cause back, all you gotta do is just get it on the clips. Yeah, instead of just toting it across the yard. Set them up and get on the clips, yep. They're not happy. But no, but it's, it's 
kind of chilly, so that's a little advantage. And I'm gonna get that smoker rolling here in a minute. Just wanted to kind of, kind of uh, get a little clip of what we're doing here. Okay. Hook it hooks right there in the handles. Picks it up. So it's a great little tool. I almost had the pallets too close together. We can make it work. As long as we get it on there. At an angle and then, then you can easily come over and yeah. just it sure beats it toting it over there. Yeah, Davis did a, hundreds of them in the past without the cart. You I bought that fast. cart, what, two or three years ago, and, and Davis has used it the last couple of years. We just kind of share it. I won't be young forever, so. No, well, I don't care if you're young or not, that cart is still a necessary necessity in my mind. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're doing. I'm going to put this uh, camera away and get busy helping Davis. These are some super strong ones right here. Look at these things. Moved them over. Boiling out. Getting it done. All right, well, we got it done, didn't we, Davis? Yep. Thank goodness for that easy hand truck thing, right? And bee suits. And thank goodness for... This extra set of hands out here, we got it done pretty quick. So the next step is, Davis is gonna go work on his some today, and then next step is we're gonna load these things up on the trailer on Monday, and they'll be loading up on the semi truck Monday night. Monday night. On their way to California. Being California Wednesday night. Today is uh, Saturday, January 14th. 14th, so a couple of days from now they'll be on their way. Thanks for your help, man. All right, appreciate it. Uh, Thanks, Bruce.